Neighbors who live here worry every Friday night. That's when they say groups of students walk these streets, oftentimes loud and drunk, sometimes committing vandalism. Egg chill, see, you still see the... Last Friday... It's all egg and everything. It happened again. We thought we got rid of them, but now it's back. It's back. And David Clore... It's terrible. ...is fed up. I already had a stroke. I don't, I don't want to get, have another one. He showed me where students keyed his girlfriend's car. It's not a Cadillac or nothing like that, but it's my mom's car, and she left it to me. She just died, and, and Barb just inherited it and just broke her heart. I can still feel her in that car, and what a disgrace, you know? What a damn disgrace. Scratches, paint, ruined from eggs, and other damage. You know, this used to be a nice neighborhood. David tells me it doesn't stop there. I used to ride my bike to uh, at nighttime, and I don't even do that no more because I, I get harassed by him. He says even calling the cops hasn't helped. The police officer went to that house and that house, knocked on the door on the way he said, probably to knock it off and everything. And when he was getting his police car, he gives me a peace sign. He also complained at the university's public safety office. Where I went this afternoon, nobody would talk on camera about dealing with drunk students off campus, but they told me every student is bound by the school's code of conduct, one that specifically mentions vandalism and harassment. Violations, I found out, that the safety department can enforce even off campus through contractual jurisdiction. But will they? They said they were very sorry. David says they haven't done a thing about the drunk students. And they took the guy's uh, flag that was over there. So he plans to catch them on camera next time. It's just plain disrespect, and they need to be dealt with. In North Portland, Tim Becker, Coin 6 News.